have to be okay with the fact that my children are, you're just going to be able to hear, hear my children. Seriously, Ben, only like five minutes. I can't even have just like five minutes. It's so hard. It is so exhausting. Please tell me I'm not the only one. What am I doing? I'm going to get my baby. So, you're a mess. What's wrong? Alright, well, tried to fill the film part of a video. I don't know if I'm going to include any of that footage or not. I just don't know. He's watching himself in the mirror. Standing in front of the mirror. Alright, so what I was saying was I have not been feeling fabulous lately. I just haven't. I've been so frustrated. I've been so like grouchy at home with my kids. I I just I, I don't know if it's like bouts of postpartum. I don't know if it's just like the end of summer and so all summer long we've had like no routine and I, I'm just like I don't know if it's the kids need extra I don't know what it is I don't this is what I'm gonna do to try to get back to fabulous I'm going to be to put diaper cream everywhere oh all over where the changing table goes Seriously? Did you really do that? All over the place. Yep. Yep. It should be funny, right? Right? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wake up early before the kids. I'm going to make sure that during the night that I at some point either get out of the bed on the floor with Everett or I'm going to feed him and put him in his crib and then I'm going to wake up and I'm going to get ready by myself. So I need to start exercising but I don't want to go in the mornings when I'm still getting up with Everett. I'm going to start being better about reading my scriptures. That's going to help me, I know. I'm going to be better about praying throughout the day and remembering why I'm a mother and I'm going to read talks about being a mother and I'm going to read I don't know I don't I don't know I'm just being for real right now can I put you down no. I'm really not trying to complain I know that I have such a blessed life it's just it's just been Hard. It's just been hard and I just don't know exactly what to do. I have good days and I have bad days. I just... Okay. Um... <sighs> I was just reminded of a situation that I had uh, an experience where um, I felt the spirit and I was giving birth to Brooklyn. Um, <laughs> I wanted a VBAC so bad because I had had a C-section with Mitchell and I wanted a VBAC so bad and I had prayed every single day for that VBAC and I kind of thought, oh wouldn't that be really cool if I could do it like natural, like unmedicated and just birth her that would be so awesome but at the same time I was not planning on it I I got into triage and um 
and I things were progressing quickly and they said um, I said I wanted an epidural and I got up to labor and delivery and I my midwife was there and she said you can have an epidural I will I will get you an epidural but I think that by the time it kicks in you'll be kissing your baby's head she says you're not very far off you're gonna have this baby soon and so I was of course nervous and freaked out but I, along the pregnancy, I had been just kind of like, I had kind of been led to le read a couple books about natural pregnancy, about unmedicated, or natural pregnancy, uh, natural birth, unmedicated birth, and so I read a couple books, and a couple of the, pa while I was in labor, a couple of the passages rang true to me, and it gave me comfort, and I was so grateful that I had been led to read those books, and then in the midst of it all, in like the trenches, and like the hardest part, I was like... Heavenly Father, I can't do this. Yeah, it was hard. And I just said, I can't do this. I can't. I don't think I can seriously, honestly do this. I can't do this. And I will just never forget. In my head, as clear as day, the message was, yes, you can. And so, um, <laughs> out loud... I remember saying, as I'm holding my knees, <laughs> I remember saying, okay, 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 okay. I was telling him, okay, I can do it, okay. And um, I just, in this moment of just kind of, it's not despair because it's not awful, horrible, terrible, you know, but in this moment of doubt, I just was reminded He was just telling me again, yes, you can. You can do this. And I'm just going to say, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Because being a mom is hard. It's hard. No matter what capacity you're doing it in. If you're a single mom and you have to work, it's hard. If you're a married person and you have to work as hard. If you're home all the time with your kids, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. There's good days and there's wonderful things and there's blessings that I would never want to give back. I would never ever like I don't ever regret having any of my children. I love my children. But it's hard. <laughs> but there's a quote that comes to my mind that, um, that, um, people just, I don't, Jesus didn't say this, but people say, you know, Jesus would probably say, I can't promise you that it won't be hard, but I can promise you that it will be worth it, right? All the things that are worth it are hard or take work or take sacrifice. And so, I just... I'm grateful for personal inspiration and that Heavenly Father loves us and that we have a God that cares about us and that loves us no matter what and that is there for us and that's telling us, yes, you can. Yes, you can. And we just have to surrender and say, okay, okay. Hello. <laughs> you want to see all my our camping stuff? Yes, they do. I have some dirty laundry on the floor. We won't show <laughs> no, that dirty laundry on the floor. No, you don't. Mom does. <laughs> Look at that. These. This little boy. This little boy loves to pack. He loves to pack. He packs bags. He packs suitcases. And that's what he does when he plays. He goes camping. And he goes on trips. Come over to this side. We don't want to show our dirty laundry at least. He packs bags. He packs suitcases. He just packs it all up, don't you? Even downstairs. Even downstairs. That's what he loves to do. Even his preschool teacher said he would do that. He would get a bag and he would pack it full of random stuff. Because that's what you do. And you pretend you're going what? Camping. On adventures and camping. And only army at school and at home camping. Oh, okay. Alright, well...
we're going to have a good day. We're going to get that bag of diapers. We're going to get that to the trash. We're going to get our life in order. And, and pack some bags. And pack some bags. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is my best lighting in the bathroom. <laughs> we just do what we do. You know? We just do what we do. And we do the best we can. So go out and have a fabulous day. <laughs> And just say, okay, okay, because God is saying, yes, you can. You can do this. And so you just got to say, okay, 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 and do it. So that's what I'm going to do. Back. I'm going to try to change my, yeah, of course you're back. <laughs> I'm going to try to change my attitude. We're going to go to kindergarten story time. Did you know that? Mama, I got all my supplies. Let me show you. Okay, them. it's probably about time to get going because this video took uh, a really long time that I didn't think it was going to take. So we're going to get ready to go to kindergarten store time at the library. And, and I need have... to show them my stuff. Have a fabulous day. Bye. Subscribe soon. Bye. <laughs> Subscribe soon. <laughs> and give our, give our videos a thumbs up. That's right. Give it a thumbs up. That is right. Say bye. Bye.